Yo, listen up, it's time for a tale About a podcast that'll leave you frail Hard way wrestling, coming at you raw Bringing the heat, breaking every law They drop the truth, no holds barred Talking smack, getting you hyped up hard Calling out the fakes, exposing the lies Hard way wrestling, taking by surprise Hard way wrestling, coming to your city Nothing but realness Welcome to Hardway Wrestling. It is Top Rope Tuesday. What's going on, boys? It's always better to be on the top rope than the bottom rope. That is, well, it depends on what company you're with. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they be using real ropes and they be saggy. They be saggy. <laughs> I have Ricky Walker with me and T Yeet. Bone Jones, the one of the hardest hitting guys in professional fighting uh and that is head to <laughs> that is head to mat <laughs> that's head to mat that's not fist to face that's head to yeah, mat yeah <laughs> t Perrin, how you doing how was your weekend buddy uh it was all right yeah it was it all got right better, it got better today <laughs> okay all right it's okay sounds like t-bone got laid ricky how was your weekend <laughs> <laughs> i worked god yeah you labored on Labor Day? Unfortunately. Me too, buddy. Me too. Me too. Yeah, it sucks. It definitely sucks. Even if I'm off work, I'm still at work trying to work my ass out of my bed because I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're old. We're getting old, man. We're getting yep. old. Old and tired. Old and tired. Yeah, next month makes 40 for me. 40. You f- Welcome to the party. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. I'm I'll be in December I'll be 49. No way. Yeah, bro. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if you look in the mirror and look here. Yes. Scott, uh, wait a minute. Rob, me three. You'll be 40. See now what is it with you guys? You guys all look like you're fucking way older than I am. And that might be your mustache, uh, T Bone. That might be what well, that, that carpet you got above your lip. <laughs> I haven't been kind to my body, so that's probably why I looked a little older than what I should. No, I'm a big fatty. I'm a big fatty. I've been kind to my body. Either way, I got two stints, right? We got heart issues and diabetes. Die, you I'm got a... yeah. Ricky's got the diabetes. Uh, Do you really? My wife's yeah. got diabetes. Okay, all right. She's on she, insulin pump. You're giving her too much sugar. That's what it is, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the sugar bottoms out. That'll flip a switch. Rob, oh, yeah. Rob oh, yeah. is 43. God, Rob is 43. That's the lowest number you'll ever see with Rob. It's 43. <laughs> Most of the time, it's like in front of it, it's like a three. <laughs> Rob Wells of the Independent Rewind. One to thousand. Uh, they haven't gone backwards, have they? Did you guys also unsubscribe like I told you? Nah. I don't think I even subscribe. <laughs> oh, damn, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Anyway, let's get let's get right into it. Big story of the weekend, actually of the of the last day. Odyssey Jones. Uh Odyssey Jones released fired uh first reported that um he was taken off the roster page. Maybe thought it was a glitch. Didn't know exactly know what what happened, uh, but it it was reported today. Uh, and this comes from this comes from Fightful. Uh, there were more questions and answers when when Honesty Jones was removed from the WWE.com roster page over the weekend. As time passed, it became clear this wasn't a glitch or a technical editorial error on WWE's part. Now, honestly, when this first happened, I. I, I, I don't get excited because I always think um, WWE's getting really good at doing things, telling stories without telling stories. So I was like, okay, uh, man, they, they, they're they doing some sort of story with, with him and they removed him from the page. And then you think you Xavier tweet. Woods hacked the system? Yeah, tweet, they got a tweet from Xavier Woods with a picture going, I didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> which is actually uh, at this point, uh, not a very, not a very funny tweet. Um, uh, but 
uh, where was that? Uh, after last night's show, Dave Meltzer, which you can take this with a grain of salt uh, when yeah. I first saw this. Uh, Dave Meltzer addressed uh, the Odyssey Jones status on Wrestling Observer. Uh, Meltzer hadn't received confirmation WWE source, but was relative, but he was relatively certain that Jones' real name, Omari Palmer, uh, was done and gone from the company at a short uh, at a short time ago this afternoon. Chalmers Sapp posted the following on X: Odyssey Jones was removed from WWE TV when domestic violence allegations came to light. Fightful has learned. Uh, we have not heard the arrest charges uh, or charges are being pressed. In relationship to the to the situation, we've reached out to WWE for no comment. Talent was not has not been informed yet of the situation. Still, more news uh, to come uh, on this situation. So, it looks like Odyssey Jones uh, domestic violence. WWE doesn't play with that kind of stuff. We will nope. shit. We will shit on a girl, right? We will shit on a girl. <laughs> Uh, we will we will hide a girl in a in a secret location uh, to have bang parties, but we will not hit them. <laughs> we will not hit them. So uh, I don't know Odyssey Jones's history uh, with any of this stuff, but I know that they don't take this stuff very lightly. Um, T Bone, you were just telling us about a story uh, that you had. Are you okay with telling that? I don't care. I, don't I have know. nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not, I mean, we're I mean, looking right at your mustache. We know you got zero to hide. <laughs> um, 2010, I was accused of a domestic. So I understand, you know, some semblance of what's going on. Uh, not all people tell the truth. I'm not saying this woman lied or he didn't do it or anything like that. I'm just saying in my case, lady said that I hit her. I didn't. I had eight witnesses. Go to court, family court. Uh, because we had to go there first because my kids were involved in everything on my exes. Um, Justice and, for uh, Katie Vick. <laughs> yeah. Jesus everything, was, everything was dropped in family court. State Wait a minute. Who's Katie, R- Katie Vick? It was an angle back uh, yeah. when oh, Kane. Yes. Yeah, back in the day. Dad. Gotcha. Okay. Triple H was banging the corpse. Gotcha. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, t Yeah. Anyway, she, uh, she lied. So I hit her. I didn't. You know, family court dropped it. I thought it was over with. State picked it up. End up spending a night in a holding cell. Got out the next day. End up uh, having to plead no contest, $160 in fines. Because no matter, my court-appointed attorney wasn't really a a court-appointed attorney. He was an attorney to help the magistrate. Yeah. And from where I'd done backyard stuff back then, they used all my uh, videos and everything as, oh, you're violent. Gotcha. Never had a charge yeah. before then. Never had a charge before then. Gotcha. Hmm. That's that's absolutely crazy, and it happens. I mean, we're not we're not we're not saying Odyssey Jones is is, is innocent by innocent no means, or, yeah. or, or or guilty. We that's not for us to judge either way. Uh, that's for the court system, probably a bad court system, most likely. Uh, if you listen to T Bone's uh, story, um, they gave you an option, right? What was your option? It was three to five if I pled guilty, three to five if I pled not guilty. But if I pled no contest and agreed to pay their fines, I got out of my own recondence. And uh, it was like six months probation that I didn't even have to check in for until the end. Yeah, that's crazy. And, I was like, and now yeah. I can never own a gun. I can't, you know what I mean? And I, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just it's how the system works around here in West Virginia. Yeah. Uh Ricky, have you ever had any incidents like that? Uh I'm gonna keep the personal off the off the air. <laughs> all right. All right. Hey, listen, I mean that's that's totally yeah, up to you. It's, that's totally yeah, up to you. I don't want to go back to that place. Yep, you don't have bad, to it's okay. Bad timing, just bad stuff happening and yeah. So Yeah. Well, I, I mean yeah. So uh a buddy of mine, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say his name, but um he spent uh he went to m- he was talking to a girl. Uh, they were engaged. I believe they were engaged. They moved away. Um, a certain state. I won't give the state away because that'll really give the story away. But he moved away to a certain state. Uh, it's a state that does not pull, does not fuck around with anything. Uh, Texas. They're, they're a commonwealth. Uh, I'll that. Uh, so um, they don't. They don't mess around. So he had gotten into a uh, an argument with with a girl, or with this girl. 
Um, there were some words, uh, things being thrown, um, and uh, they were both drinking, right? They were both drinking. Um, and she called the police and said that he had choked her. And he was sitting on top of her and choking her. And she had picked up a um, a, uh, a concrete statue of a horse. Okay. Now, this horse, I've seen this horse. I've moved this horse many a time. It probably weighed 60 pounds, 50 pounds. Right? It was heavy. It was heavy. Um, and she was a very slight girl. Um, uh, slight as in maybe 120 pounds. Okay. Oh, um wow. I could investigate this and know that this was all bullshit, but supposedly he was on top of her choking her and she picked this horse up from a flat back position. Uh, She lifted this horse and hit him upside the head with it. Zero marks on his face and head. If he got hit with this thing, uh, if he got hit with this thing, uh, he'd have had a hell of a mark, uh, a lump or no eye or blood. whatever, like yeah. So it would blood. blood have been something, right? He didn't have any marks on him, zero marks on him, because the mugshot had nothing. Um, she had no. Well, she supposedly had to go get uh, pictures and stuff done, marking. She had markings on her, but never saw any markings. I saw her um, not too long after that and didn't see any markings. Um, I had talked to her about her story because I was like the go between. Uh, why he was in jail, try to figure out everything that was going on. And her story changed multiple times. Never, none of it ever made sense. Um, there's no way this girl could have picked this horse up from a flat back position, laying on her back, being choked. Not happening. This ain't, she ain't JLo. <laughs> this ain't, you know, she ain't JLo. She ain't doing it. So uh, he spent a year in jail, uh, six months of it before he even got into like, court court right he, he went for the judge once or twice i think but then court court uh they told him that i think they were giving him a year six months or seven months or eight months served uh he had two months left and they told him that if he pleads guilty that he can be out in december or november or whatever um and then uh, if he did not if he pled not guilty that he would uh up to however many years in jail so they gave him an option to plead and took the take the felony and get out of there or um you know take his chances so uh, i do understand how the court system works it's terrible uh i know that they're trying to close cases and move along and not try to keep everybody in jail that they can so but now he's got this felony on his record for however many years until he can get it expunged uh, which is which is god awful because you got to get another job now. I know things are a little different now. They hire people with felonies, and but now he's got this domestic felony on his on his record, which taints him in a lot of ways. So I do understand, but we're not saying that 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 Odyssey is guilty or not guilty. We don't know the whole story yet. It's it's coming out, right? We're learning more and more over the last twenty four hours. So, uh, but WWE TKO doesn't fuck around. You saw how quick they get rid of Vince. Uh, after he uh, after he poopied, so um... yeah, but hey, I got a question and I'm gonna bring this up. So, T- TK owns the UFC too, right? Uh, I yes, a portion of it. Okay, yeah. well, what about the New Year's Eve party when Dana White was smacking his wife in front of a camera? That's that's a good question, too, buddy. That's you know, that's if it's good for a wrestler to get fired. Why isn't the uh, why isn't the president or whatever he is the UFC getting fired? I mean, uh. Um... Get down. I don't have. An yeah, Vince got thrown out. Yeah, Vince Vince won. Vince was, they wanted Vince out. There's a difference. Oh, they yeah. wanted Vince and out. I like Dana White, and I like Dana White. Yeah, I do. I like Dana White, but yeah. at the same time, you know, alcohol makes people act differently, and sure. you know, but at the same time, that's still not an excuse to hit your wife. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. No. No, I totally get it. It's it's happened over the years. I, um, it, it depends. Uh, money talks. Right, my yeah, folks. yeah, so, most definitely. Uh, yeah, so you yeah, know, I, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, I forgot about Dana White smacking his wife in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what did she say? That's what I want to know. She started well, she hit him first, from what the what I seen of the video. Oh, she, she started it. Yeah, she smacked him, oh, so he smacked he her it. twice or some oh, shit like that. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, 
Uh, no, we don't condone violence. We don't condone no. domestic violence on this on this podcast unless you know it's wrestling oriented. Scripted um, violence. Scripted. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You can you can you can spank Liv Morgan if it's you know it's on wrestling. It's fine. Yes, you see please. And she was wearing last night. Yes, please. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, that's that's the latest. And uh, you know, more and more come out right now. Uh, come out. Just keep. We're. Um. Uh. You can check us out. I'm posting uh, news articles all the time for page on our Patreon page, and sharing it across all of our other platforms. So we'll try to keep everybody updated on everything that's going on. Um. So I've been listening to. Do you guys listen to Jim Cornette podcast? Besides, and it just means Scotty. Occasionally, I'll catch some clips. All right. So he is. He's. He, they got a lot of stuff going on. So they do this thing when when they're busy, busy, and they can't do regular shows. They do this thing called an omnibus, where they they take a bunch of clips from from other shows and they mash them together, and then they run like a best of type of thing. Uh, right now, they are doing AEW ratings. Over the past since 2019, 18, whatever that was. 19. Um, 19. I forget when they started doing it, but I completely forgot that AEW used to get over a million, you know, watching them. Million 17, million 1.1. Like they used to have good ratings, and now the ratings are hover around. 750, 800, sometimes five, six, depending on what the show is. Three um, if they're running up against a pay per view or a national sport event, the yeah, Olympics. It's, it's, um, this, I don't listen to every Cornet episode. This one, this one's actually pretty good because this ratings thing just, it started making my mind, you know, wander a little bit and the gears turn. What can AEW do to get back to prominence? Right, because there were, I know they were the new thing. Uh, they were. <laughs> what's wrong? What? Oh, okay, I said the dishwasher. Uh, at one time they were good, right? They were the new kid on the block, and I believe everyone hated WWE. WWE was the just Vince was in charge. Them. Yes, everybody. That was Vince. the problem. Everybody hated Vince. Everybody hated the booking. Their stars were shitty. Uh, that everybody was mad. They wanted to get out of there. People were trying to get leave, uh, and it was like the new kid on the block thing. Um, shout out Donnie Wahlberg. But <laughs> what can what who and what can AEW? And I'll let I'll let you fly with this first, T Bone. What can oh. AEW do? Give me give me give me give me one thing that AEW can do. Signing whatever whatever it is to get them back to a million in the viewership rate and uh, viewership. One, stop signing anybody. Stop yes. signing. Yeah, they're yes. signing way too many people. They're, they have a great roster. If you look at it on paper, it looks great. Yeah. But let me point out the back when they were doing the million views, they had Cody Rhodes and they had Brody Lee. No, had, no, this was after. Uh, oh, was it after? Okay. See, Brody had, Brody had passed. Okay. Cody, Cody was, I think Cody was still there, but he was still there. Towards the yeah, end yeah. of Cody's run, they, that's okay. what Cody was still there when they were dipping. Yeah. Because AEW fans hate Cody Rhodes. They turned on him. Yeah, they, they really they turned on Cody Rhodes. And, and part of that, and part of that is because of the storylines, man. They should have, they should have had Cody go heel over there. I think that would have, I think that would have brought it up a little bit right there at the end. When Cody I think was he was starting to go heel. I think there was, he, and you'll see it, you're seeing it now, this condescending Cody Rhodes. Oh, yep. Kevin, you know, you did such a great job, man. Thank you for letting me. You know, wrestling me and I beat you, but you did a great job, man. And we're still friends, right? Yep. You see that it's condescending, coming. and that's we saw. Uh, we saw Cody shoot a per, do a promo. It right? was his Actually, second to last show. Yeah, right before he rolled up out of there, and I was like, "Whoa, is that Cody's? Cody's fucking turning heel here." <laughs> People were yeah. doing his shit. Out. He was. Getting but remember, he was working not under contract at that point as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said they were trying to figure out what they were gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, he was if he was probably getting hey Lacey, he was probably getting as much heat as Chris Jericho is now. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, was, there was, was a that hated. There was a fuck you, Cody, and a shut the fuck up chant going on during yeah. that promo. It was all from Ricky. 
<laughs> it was all from Ricky. <laughs> yes, there was these chants. So T Bone, T Bone, go ahead. Get get into all right. what, well, okay. My opinion is is that uh Tony Khan needs to hire some real writers. Scott Demore. Yeah, Scott Demore, yes. Amazing. That's great. He's got great. his own shit going to Canada now. Yeah, but, but money still, talks. Money bro. talks. He's yes. Money. He's got yeah, money. money talks. That's where I was getting ready to say money. Everybody's talks. got a price. Get, and get rid of the young bucks. <laughs> It's my biggest thing. Get rid of the young bucks, and I think they might be able to turn it around. Okay, all right. Rich. Yeah, I agree. Stop having six and eight man tag team matches. I understand you six don't and have- eight. That's a light tag team match. They're doing like oh, twenty they mans got, now. They have, they have a waiting list at their catering table. Collision, I'm Collision like, had two tags. eight man tags or two seven fourteen man tags the other night. <clears throat> yeah, I'm they like, have. Hell. They have a waiting list at their catering table like the Olive Garden does at like quarter to five in the evening on a holiday. I've been there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like they, the writing sucks. The ranking system sucks. You need to get away from that because they, Tony Khan over the years, he's gone to it and then all of a sudden it disappears. And then you got these dumb eliminator matches that, it's it's nonsense if you have a ranking system. Um, just call it a number one contenders match. They ha- they've got to get everybody on the co- on the roster on a card, whether it be pay per view where they've got like ten pre show matches and twenty main card matches. They've got silly battle royals. You've got the same guy as number one contender for six of their thirty eight championships. <laughs> like nothing makes sense. Back in the day, um, when AEW started, like the ranking system made sense. They posted it every show. You knew who was close and who was the number one contender for each respective title. They didn't have thirty titles going on. Um, you also had a lot more stars than two that you're, like you're, made. Let, let me cut you off real quick before you. And let me touch on that. That is actually a good point. The ranking system, I never was a big fan of the ranking system, but I understand, I understand, I understand you got to have an, uh, you got to have your contenders and how they should be lined up. But when you have six belts, right, what do they got? They got the world title, the European, not the European, what is there? They got the world international, title, the TBS, international, the international, the T- there's a TBS and a TNT. W- TBS is the women's belt, right? Yes. Yeah. So the TNT, so there's three. You got the international, the continental, the trio. Wait, there's, two, there's two of them now? International and a continental? Or is that continental the is o- no, continental is Okada. The international is Osprey. So that's four. Uh, you that, got the trios. Nope, I'm just talking singles. Just doing singles. Um, uh, the FTW. <laughs> yeah, the FTW. There you go. Just kidding. It's on there every week. They yeah, I, I mean, they it. use it. Yeah. So, the ranking system makes sense if you have if you don't have so many belts. Like, how does how do we know that pot? How can Pac be a number one contender for the international title, but not be a number one contender for the world title? Like, how does they they don't show where exactly. the rank, their belts rank? So, I would understand if it's like a. Do you remember in uh, Mortal Kombat where they had the big towers and you had to mm-hmm. beat each guy to get to that tower? Yeah, you went from novice to yeah. extreme or or yeah, pro or yeah. whatever the fuck it is. If, if they it's your difficulty it, level. If, if, thank you. If they explained it that way, it's like a uh, punch out. You beat Glass Joe. You beat Bald Bull. Then you became the whatever champion. Then you moved on to the next flyweight or whatever what you know the moving up the band actually it's the same thing you're a, you're a boxing you're a boxing fan uh t-bone how do the belts work in boxing there's weight classes okay there's weight classes and weight limits and uh <laughs> guys got to make the <laughs> well that's I mean, not gonna work. Work. Well, I mean, like they give you some, sometimes they give you a little bit extra. And everybody weight. weighs the same in AEW, so that's yeah, not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, you got a you got a heavyweight championship opportunity for a guy that's like 135 pounds soaking wet. Yeah, um, good point. Good point. I, I think, I mean, an easy way to fix that is your 
if they if they update the rankings correctly, if you're if you have five between five and fifteen wins, you're this is the title you're this is the title bracket you should be in, right? If you're anywhere from twenty to twenty twenty to thirty, then you're at this title range, right? Yeah. If you're up to fifty wins, then you're in this heavyweight title bracket, right? You're in this but if you start losing, you start losing points, right? And you start dropping. If yeah. you lose if you're in the heavyweight title division or heavyweight title area and you lose five matches in a row, you should be relegated to, you know, the next title down the catering table belt, whatever the next belt yeah. is. Right. So, I mean, they need, they definitely need to fix that. So that, go ahead. Don't give them any more ideas for belts. That's going to be the next belt they come up with. Oh, the catering totally. table. Belt. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen the eight man belt yet. I feel like oh, the catering table belts, the strap should be like, 40 feet long that way they can wrap it around everyone <laughs> and honestly, everybody can sit and eat together <laughs> and honestly if you think about it AEW's real downfall is when they bought ring of honor and brought all that company together with AEW. now i think they oversaturated the content and brought too many belts too many wrestlers too many it's just it's too much for anybody to keep any one true they thing need, up with. I mean, you got they it. need to treat ROH like NXT does yes. from WWE. Yes. yes. Separate it. Find a way to separate it. Don't bring those guys on, on the AEW, you know, leave them at Ring of Honor. But at the same time, does Tony have the money to get another TV deal? Sell Ring of Honor. Sell the name. Keep the library. Nobody Sell wanted it. Yeah. And nobody wanted He wanted the library. I think that's what it was. He wanted the library because he, a lot of the guys in AEW are Ring of Honor guys. So he needs those. For you know, Tony for Tony being a uh, guy that takes multiple shots at WWE and all of his wrestlers taking shots at WWE, I mean, like, like we said, the writing – the, the answer to the test is right there. You take ROH, you get your under-experienced uh, wrestlers, you put them all there, you give them their one show a week, you make them NXT. Yeah, no, I, I think that's actually... that. They keep... They, they keep... They keep ROH completely separated from AEW. Nobody goes up. Every once in a while, a big star comes down. Take the guys that um, separate them correctly. Danny yeah, Garcia. like Kyle Fletcher has no reason to be in ROH. Nope. nope. He's too Danny, good. Danny Athena. Garcia. Danny Garcia should be in Ring of Honor. Athena should not be in Ring of Honor. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, uh, what's the new girl that's running around with uh, um, Mercedes? Har- Harley Cameron. Harley Cameron. Uh, Camille Move. Brickhouse. Yep. You can go. Down. Yes. Um, Take uh, Anthony Agogo and the Nightmare Factory. Get rid of all them. Leave yeah. Sammy Guevara and Dustin down in in ROH. If I was Tony, that's actually they're all good points. If I was I'm Tony, good. I'd cut my fucking hair first. No way. That's a pretty. I, I'm I'm bald, bro. I'm bald, bro. I love it. We hair. all are. I love his hair. I love his hair. Keeps the coke residue fresh. Uh, <laughs> Probably really I, hot. Do you think it'd be a good idea to go out and and buy every Samoan that's left and start a another Samoan dynasty in AEW? No, no, I think that would be dumb. Because then, then they're it, just showing it's an obvious. Them. Yeah, it's, it, it's an obvious shot that they're trying to copy and or yeah. block WWE from getting more of the bloodline. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah I, I think they need to – 20% of their roster needs to be got, gotten rid of. You're not chop liver, Rob. You're you're the hog roast. Yeah, you're you're going to – we're going to get to the comments here in a minute there, kid. So, um, <laughs> all right, well, let's let's go to Rob because Rob seems to be melting down here. Uh, advertise your big stars at the start of the show uh, for the end of the show and, and remind them halfway through the show. Maybe uh, six matches. Um, I don't even know how many matches they run now. So, or, are you talking about regular show? Or are you talking about probably pay per views? Pay per view. You're never gonna have. Yeah. 
in so order to get to six the matches, thing, they're going to have to cut at least 30% of their, their roster. So here's, here's the one thing about yeah. AW matches. They're all great matches for the most part. You'll get some turds every now and again. The pay-per-views are usually off the hook. The matches aren't really the problem. It all starts with the booking. Yeah. Yeah, booking is definitely booking is definitely a problem. Uh story writing is a is a problem. Um they're writing. They have people that are writing. They have uh, that Washington. I think his name is Washington. His last name is Washington, the guy that's writing for them now. And then um they have they have decent writers, but none of it. I don't know. None of it makes sense. Like they're, they're writing stories. dark to the board. Yeah, they're, no, a lot of their stories just don't. In the long run, doesn't make sense, right? And you build. I like Triple H. Just what he's doing now. He's, he's it's long term booking. You're telling stories now. You might kind of veer away a little bit, but it might come back later on. And they're all there's Easter eggs all over the place. Like you, you remember like last night on Raw, we had uh, Jay Uso and 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 Damian Priest talking about their history right before they tagged together, right? Everybody remembers that. Everybody remembers what the Judgment Day did to Jay or uh, the the Bloodline did to uh, to uh, Damian Priest, uh, and and they're in kind of in the same boat. Uh, Jay was a bad guy for the longest time, and then when he turned good, nobody fucking liked him. Right? They all hated him. Priest is at that same point now where he doesn't have a lot of friends because his friends are now he's good guy. Yeah, he good, he good guy. He good guy. Chubby Priest. <laughs> so he's now. Uh, he's not so they, their stories, but all that stuff makes sense because it's exactly what happened, you know, um, to Jay. So uh, definitely, story is 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 the big one. I, I think the roster. We can get back to that. The roster is definitely a problem. There's a lot of guys that just do not deserve do not deserve to be on TV or do not deserve to have pyro. You know what I mean? They just don't deserve. They, you know, there's their oh, like, top flight. Did you guys see Top Flight on Collision? All right, so go back and I haven't watched a Collision in months. So I watched, I watched same with Rampage. Bit. I watched a little bit of Collision the other day. Top Flight came out because uh, they were part of that 13 man tag. Um, <laughs> it was they were all wearing flight attendant suits. Yeah, I've seen that. It was the um, shittiest thing. I, 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 yeah. I, I, that's where I stopped. I clicked it off. Clicked it off. I could not watch anymore. That was the most god awful thing. This is the gear that they're wearing. Top flight. And and Leo Rush. <laughs> they're all wearing flight gear. Uh um, yeah. yeah. So so, so they can fly off a ladder and then break their legs on the landing. I want to know yeah. who, that's a, that's another thing too. Um I think we they let the inmates run the asylum. I think oh, yeah. they they, um, <clears throat> they have people who that write stories, but then they, 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 the guys lean way too much. Or the writers lean t- way too much on the talent to help them. They write. gave Mercedes creative control. Yeah. Well, she has somebody that's writing for her. Right. And I'll then, the, right yeah, the, it's not, it's not the greatest. <clears throat> it's definitely not the greatest um, writing ever. Um, so yeah, definitely writing is a problem. Rob says a lot of guys are under contract and are sitting home, not even on TV. That's a problem too. Um, that, yeah, that's definitely a problem. I I don't know how he works his contracts or he treats every, he treats everybody or every person like a sports athlete, like Randy Moss. He's still, he's still a Patriot, but he's hurt. So he can't play, so he stands on the sidelines, and they just don't – they just keep yeah. paying him. It can't be like that in wrestling, right? Once your contract's up, there's <laughs> contract's up. There shouldn't be any extensions. Uh, yeah. You, you should be do- you, you should be docked pay somehow. Um, I, I don't know what they need to do, but it's – it's a t- Miro. When's the last time we've seen Miro? Who? Exactly. Yeah. Right, when, when, Keith Lee. When's the last time we've seen Keith Lee? Sorry. Who? Keith Lee. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Keith Lee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They bring they, – they have a ton of talent. Uh, and there's some talented people in that roster. There's a lot of untalented people in that roster. Um, but then all of a sudden they bring in some dude from New Japan. 
they do forbidden spot. door pay-per-views where you get these new Japan guys in there and now New Japan's like a third of the roster. Ishii Ishii's not on their on their roster. Or well, not, he's there a lot. He's there a lot. Yeah. And they do like the a same, lot of these guys the are match every time. I'm so like the, the door's not forbidden anymore. No, 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 no. That, 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 no. that, that <laughs> not that, open. That that may that Mayflower has 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 sailed. So yeah, it was cool the first time, maybe the second time, but now it's just what's the point? You're out. All right. Yeah. Last question. Last question. Then we're gonna get on the raw here. Uh, give me one guy that they could sign. They they, to, they are about three hundred <clears> three hundred thousand <throat> away from a million, right? Two hundred to three hundred thousand away from me. Give me one guy that they could sign today that they could throw. Uh, they could throw the uh, drive the Brinks truck right to that guy's house or girl, right to their house, back it up, drop off a bunch of money in their living room um, or condo or wherever they live, their swimming pool, and get AEW back to a million views. Who do you want to see? Because honestly, it ain't Ricochet. <laughs> it's not Ricochet. <laughs> I watched him almost kill himself on Wednesday. Uh, um, hey, Linda, I got to take a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that guy, yeah, that guy Rick would Vince? blow the ratings through the roof. You, which I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Uh, did you yeah. watch? Did you watch Dynamite? John Moxley is in the company Wells. anymore. Rob Wells says hottest. Hottest chance. I was going to say that, but <laughs> I put him right in the soon. women's division. That's what I would do. Put Hottest Jones <laughs> right in the women's. Put division. Put him up against Nyla Rose. Well, he'll get his ass kicked. There you sure. go. It's about equal. Yeah, she'll, she'll fuck him up. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I she think probably measures in a few inches short now. Um, John Moxley was back on Wednesday, and he, he you know, he's he's skulking around now. He's he said it's told Sh- Skiavone that it is not your company anymore. Here comes the money. I believe Shane McMahon is coming, buddy. I believe Shane McMahon is coming. Now, is Shane McMahon good for three hundred thousand views? continuously or is he a big pop guy because we've seen big pop guys they're big pop guys they bring pops or squads well that's for sure both of them they bring in they bring in these guys they pop and then they're gone yeah fizzles the the pop's gone nobody gives a shit i got a monkey wrench that could help aw say they did get shane zombie luthes say they say they did get vince Got okay, got so it. they get Shane and Vince on board. And like I told you the last time we talked about this, when they showed the picture, somebody pointed out there's three cups on that table. There was another chair scooted back, and Shane was across the uh, other side of the table. So three people were sitting there, Tony Khan, Shane McMahon, somebody else. Now, say they get Vince and Shane, what if Vince brings Brock Lesnar with him? That might turn a wow. Uh, I, I, they just filed for a um a dismissal of the charges for against Vince again or something. So, if that whole case gets dropped, possibly. I doubt it. I can't see Vince there, but Shane, Shane O'Mac, absolutely. He, him, and his. What I if don't Vince know. is throwing his money at him? What if Vince just starts throwing money at him to help him? And I, button, button money's, money's I hate not this, a problem, bro. I hate this name, but Goldberg. Uh, see, that's to me Goldberg, one pop. I yeah, I agree, but yeah, one pop. I need somebody that's going to, um, I need somebody that's going to sustain, like a CM Punk, right? Me. CM Punk was there. Collision was running. Doing that's really when the wheels. Now. That's when the wheels came off. Yeah, they started now. The rain started to, started to dip on Saturday nights, but. CM Punk showing up on Dynamite, a big ratings boost. I need a guy like that. I think Lesnar's the only one who can do it for him. I think point. Lesnar. I think that's a good yeah. one. I think that's a real good one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think probably the only one. What can they do? They have no nothing like big planned storyline wise, so there isn't no help coming. So they need to figure out something. Like I want. They, I want Lesnar versus Marco Stunt. <laughs> and I want him to throw Marco stunt like a javelin. They should do like hoping we get Lesnar versus the no leg guy they had on their very first pay per view. Oh yeah, at the the casino battle yeah. royal. So they should 
you remember, you know how they do it, the uh, NFL Pro Bowl games where they have the quarterback so you could throw the furthest, just line up Lesnar, Lance, Archer, and some of the other like actual big athletes to see how far they could throw Marco Stunt. Derby what? Allen be right in that category too. They could throw him too. Like he ain't. I, very, I, I he feel ain't. like, and I know now Lance Archer is not on the same level as Brock Lesnar, but no, they, do, they they do this thing with 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 um uh with Lance Archer, Archer. every every couple months he'll be, be he'll beat the shit out of everybody and he'll you know run around look at a camera and say everybody dies. Yeah, they get him into a anything. title picture and then he's gone. Then they don't do anything with him. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dwarf dong sucker. <laughs> I feel like they did the same thing with Miro. They brought him in, and like I got a little excited. They had Miro on the roster, and then boom, they just like what yeah. happened? Rob Rell says Judy Bagwell. Judy Bagwell. <laughs> I'd be down for Judy Bagwell. She's a hot. She's a hot piece of ass. Jesus. Hot piece of ass. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think Brock Lesnar is the only one. <laughs> And I don't think he ever wrestles a match. I think he just shows up whatever whenever he wants and just squashes whoever's left in the ring. No jobbers, no enhancement talent. First off, we start with Dustin Rhodes. Put his ass right, punt him, get him into retirement. Um I think I think uh Sammy Guevara needs his ass handed to him, right? He, he all the concussions he's given people over the last couple of years, he needs to be the hardies. He needs to be F five about thirty seven times. Yeah. Off the so, top of uh yeah. you know, something high up in the air. It it was an edge. It was no. an edge. No. Yeah. No. Edge was boring. Edge was boring at WWE. Yeah. The best thing he could have done was, man, we got nothing for you, bro. Go back to Canada. Go home. <laughs> uh Bret Hart. No. Nah, too old. No. Too old. Brett will get you a pop, but that's Brett ain't it. coming in, especially if, it, if Vince were to end up there. Brett's definitely not coming in Lex, no. unless Lex, he potatoes him again. Lex Luger with no brakes on his wheelchair going down the ramp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, style, huh? <laughs> Perry? Perry who? Perry Saturn? <laughs> you're talking about Perry Saturn. No, you. We saw him at uh, WrestleCon. He's not in great shape. He's not no. in good shape at all. No. Uh, that, that that tattoo that he has on his face is looking pretty pretty rough. <laughs> pretty rough. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I think you guys are right. I think Brock Lesnar might be the only uh, one to be able to get them into uh, get them up to a million. Be curious to see uh, DDP. Uh, nope, no. nope, nope, nope. DDP is good for uh, What's DDP. Um, gonna do? Yeah. He's good to be a guest enforcer for a match, and that's actually, about it. Actually, it might so be. A, we could do it. Yeah, we could do a DDP yoga session right in the middle of the ring. I might get people to. Yeah, we'll get the varsity athletes there, and uh, David, <laughs> David Arquette. Arquette. <laughs> yeah. Only if he gets his neck cut open by uh, um, what's his face? What's the dude for, with the Nick Gage? Or Nick Cage. Gage. Yeah, Nick Gage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Gage. Um. They're missing Kenny Omega too, in my opinion. Yeah, He's another top guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, There's he's not be... going to make it a million, but he could help. What if Roman? What if they got Roman? Oh yeah, that, that, that ain't ever going to happen. But that's the most happen. unrealistic yeah. thing that could happen right now. But yeah, that would definitely swing the momentum away. He would be the head of the table for the rest of his life if he got Tony Khan money. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the raw review. Uh, the bank addicted drug robber. Yes, yes, the bank addicted drug robber. Uh, Nick, Nick, motherfucking Gage. Uh, raw last night. Not a bad raw, right? Not a bad raw. Uh, Joe Tessator. Uh, Joe. Wasn't he on Monday Night Football? Uh, yes, at he one was a point. Fo- yeah, he's a football guy. Yeah, I thought I so. Hear, I always hear him on McAfee. Uh, what did you think of Joe Tessitore's first? Uh... <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Not a fan. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest. Jonathan Cross would definitely, definitely pop a rating. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of Tessitore or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Joe Tessitore. 
Might as well get fucking uh, what the hell is that other guy's name that was on there for a couple uh, years and was yeah, terrible. Uh, the dude that they bullied and he ended up leaving. Um, what was oh, his name? They had him. They had him uh, announcing with John Gruden mm-hmm. for a while. Uh, more Ronello. More. Nah. What was that guy? There was a more more. Morey Ronello or whatever his name was. He was they moved him to uh John Bradshaw picked on him and he got all freaked out and left and then they put him back yeah. on NXT and then he freaked out and left. Uh yeah. Manello, Morello, whatever his name is. Um yeah, they they brought in a baseball guy too one time. That was god awful. Yeah, I don't know how long Tessa Tour is gonna last. Uh I have a hard time with bringing in a guy to do color commentary that doesn't know all the moves and doesn't know. Yeah. Like, too dry. Back. I agree. Yeah. That's, uh, Way like, too dry. A retired wrestler in that spot, like Jesse Ventura. Well, they got yes. Wade. They got Wade. Wade Barry carried Raw last night for sure. Well, yeah, oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. As many people that as many people that hate Michael Cole, he's great. Michael, Michael Cole is great. Michael I'm going to silence from Ricky. <laughs> that would be one of the best. Yeah, yeah I think that. I mean, he's been around been all that time. It longer, just about as long as anybody has done it. At he? this point, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, sure. JR and the King are, well, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, let's get into it. Uh, Rhea Ripley opened the show with a promo after uh, talking about uh, the pinning Liv Morgan to Bash at Berlin. Rhea. Uh, Ripley called out Morgan. Dominic Mysterio said Morgan wasn't there, uh, but there, uh, but that she would beat Ripley anytime, anywhere. Morgan was attacked, uh, then attacked Ripley from behind, uh, which did not happen. There was no attack from behind. Uh, Ripley saw her coming and fucking threw a hellacious uh, back elbow, uh, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. Uh, so they ended up uh, they ended up beating her down. She got her leg caught in the rope. I thought for sure. Uh, when she caught her leg in the rope, that 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 wasn't on. That was not. Weird. That was like she was gonna be hurt. Yeah, I had to watch that a couple times over just to. We've seen a lot of those leg spots where it's like, holy shit. Yeah, we thought Damian Priest was done a couple pay per views ago when he tried to do a top tried, rope yeah. move and fell. Yeah, sometimes those ropes don't 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 really like you. So, uh, yeah. anyway. Uh, they help Rhea to the back. We'll get more from Rhea in the back later on. She ended up in the knee brace, and that'll all come in play at the end of the night. Uh, American Maid defeated uh, Alpha Academy via submission. Ivy now uh, put that dragon sleeper on Max Dupree or Maxine Dupree. Uh, I like Ivy now. I-, I like her better than I like the rest of those guys in that group. Yeah. Did yeah. they stop doing? They stopped doing the Brutus Bomb, right? You know where they would put uh they would put um uh they would put which we'll call it up up on his shoulders like the doomsday device and Brutus would jump off the top rope and like hit him with a cannonball and then land on their face. Yeah, I don't That's think I've seen that one in a while. Yeah, you oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about there, right? I think so. <laughs> Rob says pretty sure her legs go behind her ears, she'll be okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Somewhere, Buddy Matthews is like, ah, oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be fine. So, uh, anyway, uh, after the match, Chad Gable challenged the Wyatt Six to an eight-person tag match. Uh, actually, it's going to be uh, the Wyatt family versus Chad Gable and a bunch of guys from AEW because they're used they're used to the eight-man tags. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Howdy answered with a cryptic message claiming. His life was no longer his own, claiming Gable had gambled had his very his very being and that Wyatt the Wyatt Six would be there to collect the debt. Pretty good I mean it was pretty good. I don't know what the, I don't think anybody knew what the hell he was talking about. But anyway, he threw a bunch of words together and like it, like 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 a family does. It, it uh it served Austin well, I'm sure. Oh yeah. What point do you think he climaxed? During that, right when uh, like they all came out behind Uncle Howdy, probably. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. He does love himself some Y six. We had Shayna the Baszler defeated uh, Zelina Vega. Uh, Zelina Vega at the beginning of this match, I guess they were cheering for Zelina. Everybody loves Zelina Vega. She was crying like 
is every every time she's in how often does she get singles matches that she's still out there crying well she was crying because a fan in the crowd had a sign that said something about her dad and he died 9-11 oh no shit okay oh. all right well that makes sense i'm insensitive i, I saw that on that i'm an insensitive well, okay person. then i didn't know that yeah uh shana eleven. go ahead Yep. Okay. All right. Shana, uh, Shana Baszler defeated Zelina Vega via pinfall with a knee to the face when uh, when Vega was distracted by Pure Fusion, the collective PF, the PFC. Uh, yeah. I give him a new name. I, I, I hope not. I, I don't know. There's a million names that run through my name, and none of them are politically correct. Uh, the group attacked Vega uh, after the match to Lyra Vacquery. Uh, ran in to make the save. The numbers advantage uh, for the collective eventually won out. Um, do we? We don't care about this women's group, right? I I kind of liked it. I thought the the where the the ending of the match was pretty good, and where they cut the little promo didn't didn't look too bad. It was kind of entertaining. Yeah, I, and we'll get into this later on. But they should be number one contenders, right? They should be in a number one contender match. Hey, this isn't a W. Not everybody can be one. Is there an eliminator? Yeah. <laughs> I would be good on com- well, thank you, Randy. I would be good on commentary. Uh I'm you not would. I don't think I'm I don't I don't I forget moves and I forget shit all the time. If I don't have Ricky here uh names. <laughs> feeding me names. names and shit, I'd be a mess. Uh but I, I would be good uh for some funny shit every once in a while. I mean that's just I'm pretty sure you would get canceled. Yes, I would be canceled. Yeah. Uh, I can be politically correct when I have to be. I just don't. I just don't. Want uh, to I see be. where you're going, Rob. Uh, <laughs> then Nima the next one, yeah. <laughs> Shield. The next one's going to start with an I. Yeah. If Rob can spell anyway. <laughs> Tina, gotcha. All right, I, I get it. I get jokes. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, yeah. I used to see them on Twitter on Wet Wednesdays. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, we had an Elio Dragon off. Uh, he defeated Dragon Lee and Dominic Mysterio via Dominic Rant. There was a trip. It was uh, part of the the Intercontinental Championship Intercontinental, Tournament. Yeah, number one four, contender. Yeah, the four way journey uh, that's coming up uh, versus at Bad Blood. Right, they could do that Bad Blood. No, I think- next week. Uh, I thought kick- it was two weeks. Does it kick off the new SmackDown or whatever? On no, 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 no. This is Monday night. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I thought they said two weeks. Yeah, I thought I thought that's what. They yeah, said. okay. Uh, Dominic chased off uh, Priest. Uh, t- chased off um, Priest. Chased off Dominic Mysterio during this match. Now, I'm a, I, I'm gonna get a round of applause for Dominic and Priest. This was the first time in a long time I've seen people chase each other out of an arena that were actually fucking running. A lot of times they're running around. They're like, oh, it's like, oh, you can't catch me. And they're real close. These dudes were sprinting. Yeah. These dudes were sprinting. That's exactly how you run out of a ring. So, or run away from a ring. So, anyway, Ilya Dragon off beat Dragon Lee. Great match. Ilya's great. Dragon Lee. It's good to see Dragon Lee back. Um, so, too bad he's the whipping boy right now. Um, so you, yeah, my my dishwasher was rooting for the Dragon Lee. Uh, so was I. So was I. I like Dragon Lee. I like them. I like them both. Uh, but you know, we like Dragon Lee too. Anyway, uh, dra- uh, Ilya Dragunov moves over uh, to the four way. Um, then we have a Sa- uh, Sammy Zayn came out and threw down a challenge to Gunther. Um, Sammy looked really clean here. Did he look like he took a shower? It was yeah. Or did he Sammy look like? Like he just got a new bar of Dove soap. <laughs> like he looked really, he looked really clean here. I was like, yeah, oh, he, look, he look, looked, look at Sammy. Sammy must have a court or something today or something. Like he, <laughs> he's all snazzed up. Right? Uh, so that's gonna, I guess that's gonna be Gunther's new. Uh, uh, his opponent coming up is um, is Sammy Zayn. Um, it's a, a filler. Of- it's a filler. It's like Cody and KO. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. They, they tease. They tease the CM Punk Gunther. I'd, I'd like to see that more than the Sami Zayn Gunther because we've already seen Sami Zayn Gunther. Yeah, I mean, I, 
the man. They're not done with Drew. No. Which we're going to get to well, here. In I agree second. with that. They're not, but I, I still like, I would have rather them gave CM Punk the title match yeah. and then had Drew interfere. And then we got Drew and Gunther. I think that's yeah. coming. I think that's how it should go. I mean, all those times that he screwed Drew uh, out of a title shot or the money in the bank or whatever. Um, all those times that he screwed him, I think it needs to go the other way, but uh Speaking of that, we had a uh, we had a CM Punk promo in the middle of the ring. Looks good, uh, trim. The crowd loves him. Uh, there's our three hundred thousand or four hundred thousand or whatever we could get over back to AEW. If I was Tony Khan, I would I would crawl to Chicago, and I would <laughs> I would suck Larry's testicles. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> I would make him a brand new bracelet, and I would I would just. I would do all the dishes. I would just be, I'd be Tony Khan made. I can. I, I thought of something else that might get AEW the other three hundred thousand. The the opposite to CM Punk. Bring in AJ Lee. No, no you the fuck. Out. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> that would be awesome. That, but, but how bad would that? How that like that would piss Punk off and like. I don't know. Wait a minute, AJ and him still together? Why would he? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it would piss WWE off. They got AJ and WWE okay. didn't get her, and you know what I mean. I It'd think they run. Were like you in the dishwasher smoking? <laughs> I Here, wish I was. I had, <laughs> yeah, here's uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna end the top end that topic with this right here. We're gonna run <laughs> how I met your mother in picture in picture for AEW, and that's how we're gonna pick up our uh, a million. Uh, rating. We're gonna we're gonna run How I Met You Mother in the corner, and the How I Met You Mother fans have to watch AEW at the same time as Adam. So there you go. Uh, good luck. Big Bang Theory didn't work as yeah, a lead up. Oh, Big that's Bang. what it is. Big Bang Theory. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Not How yeah. I Met Your Mother. How did we get? How do we not go there? Uh, maybe he's a witness in an upcoming case. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Odyssey Jones. Anyway, uh, CM Punk was jumped by the oh, I saw OJ. I was thinking OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even see where it said OJ on the back there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, zombie OJ. Uh, CM Punk was up on the desk, you know, getting the crowd going. Uh, his own version of Yeet, I guess. And uh, Drew, Drew beat the shit out of him. Dropped him on the desk. Hit him with a Claymore, too. Hit yeah. him with a Claymore on the desk. Gets in the ring. Takes the bracelet off. Holds the bracelet. Snaps the bracelet, takes all the pieces, push them in CM Punk's mouth, and then Claymore's and he chokes on the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the best. CM Punk should have spit those. He should have spit those little beads out and then pulled another bracelet out of his pocket. And said, "I got another one, bitch." Go back and watch. If you can go back and watch when he hits it with that claymore, those beads go flying out of his mouth yeah. like teeth. It was yeah. crazy. Well, that's probably um, why they did it. Visual effect. Yeah, that was got me. Got me. So <laughs> hey, uh, Daniel but, Garcia's in here. Hey. hey. <laughs> Good afternoon. Where are you from? Old Danny boy. <laughs> Danny, where are you from? Where are you from? Dinner time here, brother. I feel, like, I feel like he's from like uh, Spain or something, right? New York? Okay. No, I'm kidding. It's not here. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Anyway, CM Punk story and Drew is not done. Um, they, did they announce that they were doing a Hell in a Cell? I don't think so, but I'm pretty I sure that's, that somewhere. that's coming up. It's coming. Yeah. It's gotcha. coming. Gotcha. Someone's coming. I'm down um, for it. We had uh, Braun Strowman beg, uh, beg to get into the the Sheamus Ludwig match because um, after all that shit last week, uh, it wasn't it wasn't uh, uh, Brunson Reed that got hurt, <laughs> or it wasn't it wasn't um, uh, Strowman, Strowman that got, that hurt. It was, got it was, hurt. It was it was Brunson Reed. So Brunson Reed getting was fucking out. COVID. Yeah, that's what it ended up being. COVID. You got COVID. Don't land on top of a car. You'll get COVID. That's what I learned. <laughs> um, uh, so Braun Strowman uh, ends up beating Sheamus and Ludwig uh, via via pinfall uh, to advance to the finals of uh, determined to determine the number one contender of the 
for the Intercontinental Championship. Strowman still injured versus Bronson Reed. Uh, Reed's attack last week stepped in uh, when Reed was announced. Uh, he was not. Uh, he was not medically cl- cleared for the match. Pete Dunn ran in, attacked Sheamus, uh, hit him with a shillelagh. Boy, he hit the, beat the shit out of him with the shillelagh. shillelagh. <laughs> he rocked him pretty good. Uh, hope Chad Gable versus Uncle Howdy feud ends up a hard hitting rival. I doubt it. Uh, Ilya dragging off Ludwig. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so, turn the camera. Got yeah, yeah, turn the camera. <laughs> Giggity. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Distractions. Right, uh Braun Strowman ends up moving on. Um well, I guess we're probably gonna get a Seamus. Um didn't didn't what's his name just attack um Trick attack Williams. Somebody, Trick Williams on uh during NXT the title the match yeah, pay per view. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what what is up with old Butch? Is he so mad? He oh, he's so an mad angry little fella. Yeah, he is. I can let a fella. Uh, then we have our main event, Damian Priest and Jay Uso. They defeat the tag champions, Finn Balor, Jane and McDonough via pinfall. Uh, this was actually a great match. The yeah. end of this, the last two minutes of this match were booked really well. It was a really good match. After Priest hit McDonough with a razor's edge before Uso hit and Uso splashed for the win. Uh, for the win after Judgment Day attacked on Ripley earlier, and this was great. Uh, Liv comes out, causes a distraction. She's up on the she's up on the uh, up on the ring apron yelling. Liv, or uh, Rhea's music hits. Rhea comes out. She's coming out like Old Man River, right? She's got a crutch. She's walking real slow. Liv's kind. Of, the look on Liv's face. Liv's mocking her. Perfect. Gets get comes down, walks down to her. And all of a sudden, uh, Rhea was like, "Nah, nah." Pulls, pulls this, grabs this crutch, or he hits. She ends up hitting Liv. Liv is on the ground. She swings this crutch. Now, if Liv doesn't roll out of the way. She's killing her. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. We have another domestic problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she swings that crutch like you should. By the way, like you absolutely should swing that crutch as hard as you can, especially in a spot like that. So, yeah. Um, Rhea was not fucking around. Uh, so anyway, not new tag team. So that was this an eliminator match? Does Jay and Do- uh, Damian get a tag team? I mean, they should. I mean, if this was AEW, they won their eliminator. Yeah. They, Who the they, fuck they, else do they got as tag teams on the Raw side besides Alpha Academy and American Made? Um, what's the. Um, They're on SmackDown, the Street Gosh, Profits. On street Profits on SmackDown. Really? Yep. Didn't know that. Daniel, A-W's where are you from? Party. AW's private party is uh, Ronnie Piper. Okay. No street Profits. Yeah. What's that? Say it again. Private the party. Is, uh, private street Profits. Party light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Will Bobby Lashley get them to a million? Maybe for a couple weeks if they yeah. do it right, but they yeah. got to bring him in to be an absolute monster and just destroy. MVP. They're bringing MVP. Yeah, bring yeah. in MVP and Bobby and put them together, and then put them with uh, Private Party or Top Flight. No, no, no. Powerhouse Hobbs or yeah. Samoa Joe. Yeah, yeah. So. Do something meaningful with Bobby Lashley because he is a top talent. I'd hate to see him. He's older now, so I'd hate to see him go into boxing or MMA and become a novelty joke. I wish I looked that old. (laughs) Bobby Lashley's a fucking beast. He is. He's a monster. I wish I looked that good. Yeah. Yes, that's right, Randy. Scotty was very upset over the bracelet, and that's why he did not come on to the the show tonight. (laughs) The women's tag match is just sad. Uh, yeah, it was. Now, we, that's right. I didn't even get to that. I, I didn't even. We had a uh, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn versus uh, Damage, Damage Control, Control for the number one contendership. The best part of the match was Jade Cargill's outf- outfit. She looked like one of those one of those crystal balls or those dancing mirror balls above uh, on the dance floor. Um, looked like a million bucks. Both of them looked like a million bucks, and I. 
it, it's gonna be it's gonna be sad when um when they turn on each other because I think together they look like the only legit tag team yeah. in in WWE, which is you know, but anyway, Isla Dawn and I agree with you. Alba Fire, they end up winning and they are the number one contenders, which would which doesn't make a lot of sense because they just lost. Wouldn't they still be like the number two team? Whatever happened to a rematch clause? Yeah, that's well, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it right before they get released. They're gonna get it. So anyway, that's it here for Highway Wrestling. Uh, we've covered it all, boys. We did it all. We did it all. All the all the news, uh, all the news uh, is, is out there. Uh, and we had it here. So uh, if you want your Odyssey Jones uh, information, here's where you need to get it. Hardway Wrestling. Don't listen to Dave Meltzer. He makes shit up or he lies. He's a fucking jabroni. He is. A, he's a jabroni. Uh, he's yeah. got a couple more followers than us. So that's why it hurts us. So, um, yes, Jay, Jay did look like a disco ball. Um, so anyway, we'll be back. Uh, it'll be later on Friday, uh, Friday evening. Uh, because I have a wedding walkthrough. Uh, this this must be crazy for me. So uh, the schedule is going to be a little all over the place. But we have an all out pay per view this weekend. Uh, by Friday, we should know at least uh, ten of the twenty three matches that they're going to have, and the fifty five belts that are on the line. Yep, all fifty five belts. Catering casino catering table gauntlet My battle ro- over the top rope tag battle royal. I love that. Eliminate part at the end of that. Yeah. Eliminator. Yeah. Yeah. Eliminator. So they're gonna have they're gonna have a, a dinner elimination tournament. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's Who ate the have. last cheese ball? Just get fucking Joey Chestnut in there and line up the fucking glizzies. Oh, I love that. And was that yesterday? They have something on Netflix. I saw somebody ate eighty three hot dogs in ten minutes. I'm- Holy shit! Scotty was like. Pfft. Light work. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty said, Oh my beer. <laughs> All right. Make sure you go like and subscribe and ring that bell. We are on our way to one thousand. <laughs> so, uh, we're, yeah. we're 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 climbing every day. Not very slow. We're slow climbing. Right? It's been a rough month. It has been a rough month, but it's coming, bro. It's coming. I mean, I honestly at this point I don't even care. I don't even care because I don't even know what it means if we get to a thousand. So, um, <laughs> but we'll 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 eventually find that out. So it's a goal to get. That's yeah, a goal yeah. To we get. you know we set this. We actually it was last. I want to say March of this year we were at like two fifty, <laughs> three hundred like maybe. That, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so wow. yeah, no it it um we've had some stuff really explode. So it, it'll happen again. I mean it is what it is. But anyway. Make sure you go like, subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, you can catch us on all of our, our podcasting platforms, Spotify, what? YouTube, what? Uh, Apple, what? Google Play? Damn. Nope. 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 Nah, nah. Scotty fucked it up. That's right. Scotty fucked it up. Anyway, you, we also have Patreon. You can become yeah. a free member. You can become a free member. I'm posting articles all the time. Um Get in that fantasy league. It's yeah. five freaking dollars. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You get the, yeah. The fantasy league's awesome. Um, we we got about another month and a half yet for this cycle, but you guys can jump in at any time. Uh, Scotty just won our money in the bank this weekend. Scotty will get a chance to. Uh, Scotty will get a chance to take on uh, whoever the champion is coming out of these next uh, month though, or next month and a half. So. We'll see if we will have a hundred percent successful cash in rate. You think he'll be able to cash it in? Think he'll be no, able no. To... no, no. I don't think so either. I hope it's me. I hope it's me. But right now, Ricky, you're in the head, right? Yeah, you moved in. You moved in front. Yeah, you moved in front. So good job. Um, I got two matches wrong this weekend out of all. So did I? Games. But I think it was only th- like three points. Right, mine fucked me. <laughs> I put six on one of them, screwed me up pretty bad. So Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Six was on. Uh, well, I figured which one it was. Oh, who do you think it is? The, the, Wesley. The is, nope. Nope. Oh, no. oh, Axiom and Axiom. I was laughing when fucking Axiom. Scotty told Every me. Every time Axiom screws me. Well, I got that one me. wrong too, but I think I only had like two points on it. 
Yeah, I actually when I when I first saw the the standings, I thought for sure that Rob won because Rob was off the wall with some of the picks he was picking. I was like, oh yeah, but I forgot they were all off the wall. So, <laughs> <laughs> meaning all wrong. I don't think he got them all wrong. I think he, I think he got a couple wrong, but he got he, his big. Points, he fi- he, he filled his name out correctly. He did get a point for that. Yes, yeah. Oh, he just spelled, he just spelled, he put it under it's under Frosty and I only was looking for Rob Wells's form. So <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you get on our on our Patreon. It's free to join the Patreon. You can just get on the Patreon and see all the articles and stuff. Uh, and it keeps you notified. Um, anytime you're a subscriber to our Patreon, anything we do on Patreon, it sends you an email, lets you know what we got going on. Or you can for five bucks a month, you could join uh, the pay part and become a fantasy champion, the Hardway Fantasy League ramp, which is growing day by day. Not really, but it will. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. We'll be back on Friday for our all in uh, preview all out. show. All, all I'm sorry, all all, all out, all in, all, all out, out all in. yeah, <laughs> catering table, no no stars, Ring of Honor, twenty four seven, I ninety five South, right, Sierra Continental, Eastern Seven Eleven. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. On the hard way. Later. Conan!